All right, so here we have the iPower motor, IF1606 4100KV. This was sent in by Nidishi. Uh, so thank you for sending the motor samples for testing. And uh, as you can see, they come in this package, in a pack of four. And here's the motor already out of the package. And they do give you some uh, mounting screws, M2 by, it looks like M2 by 6 or M2 by 5 and uh, each of the motors comes with a standard nylock so 1606 an interesting size uh, 1407s have been pretty much uh, the go-to motor for 3 and 4 inch builds lately uh, so this one's sort of like a, a new size uh, different size 1606 a little bit higher KV but 4 3 inch uh, a lot of people have been finding out that they prefer these really high KV so that the 3 inch propellers can spin quite uh, fast and get uh, a lot of thrust so you need to have a very good battery for that uh, usually 850 milliamp battery 4S a high grade battery is what you need uh, just typical construction uh, standard base uh, integrated uh, propeller shaft and uh, pretty much looking like the all the other uh, force motors that I've uh, reviewed including the 2205 and 2207 and a couple of the 1407s they have the similar uh, design with the casing and the and the base uh, let's see what the motor weighs uh, this comes with uh, about 100 millimeters of wire so should be just about long enough to reach a center mounted ESC 4 3 inch build and it looks like that's 20 gauge wire so plenty uh, plenty thick for this size motor let's see what it weighs and that's with the 100 millimeters worth of wire so with that much wire the motor weighs in at 15.9 alright so to make this 50 millimeters of wire We'll have to cut that much, about 150 millimeters. So let's weigh that. That's about 0.9 grams. So we'll tear that, tear it to zero. So the motor would weigh in at 14.9 with 50 millimeter uh, worth of wire. So, so pretty good weight actually. Not too bad. That's uh, around 15 grams. That's pretty reasonable for a. 1407 size motor this is a 1606 so just a millimeter uh, shallower here and a couple of millimeters uh, wider pretty good weight the shaft is just retained by a standard e-clip and it does have a little washer I already took it out so let's uh, pull this apart and uh, check it out on the magnifying glass Alright, so here's the motor with a closer look under the magnifying glass. So as you can see, a nice finish on the armature of the motor. And uh, there you can see the air gap more or less. Don't know if uh, it's that visible. There's the uh, bell. Magnets are fairly thin. Uh, they don't seem to be curved. Uh, the shaft is two millimeters. There you go, two millimeter shaft. Standard bearings. Those don't know exactly the size, but uh, let's see. I never measure these small bearings. Two by five, maybe. Those are tiny and let's measure the height of the stator should be six millimeters so that looks to be six millimeters as you can see interestingly this motor has uh, the standard configuration of the larger motors uh, which is 12N uh, 14P so there's 12 uh, stator uh, coils here and 14 magnets so 
That's interesting. The one other mo motor that has a similar configuration is the new Brother Hobby 1507. All the other motors in this similar class size, uh, like the 1407 and 1306s, are 9N12P, so they'll have 9 stator coils and uh, 12 magnets. Alright, so let's. Uh, Let's see what the motor can do on the thrust stand. Alright, so let's look at the thrust test results for this uh, interesting size motor, the 1606 4100 kV motor. Uh, this one's from my power, and th the motor came in at uh, 4260 kV, so about 160 higher, uh, so that's noticeable. But uh, for this size motor on 3 inch prop, it's probably okay. Uh, a lot of people like to run these 3 inch props uh, at very high kV, so that might be a good thing for some. So I went ahead and tested just a couple of the 3 inch props and a couple of the 4 inch props just to see where this motor falls into place against the, all the other motors uh, of similar size like the 1507, 1407. So first prop here, the 3030 by 3 this prop it's pretty light so it allows the motor to spin as fast as it can given the available torque. So 700 grams, that's pretty good. And amps are actually pretty manageable. Uh, you have to remember that all these amp uh, numbers are going to be a little bit exaggerated because this is static thrust. So in actual flight, these amps are going to fall quite a lot. It, it's going to be about 35% lower or so. And that's because, you know, the props unload in flight. Right here, they're static, just standing there. So they're able to grab all the static air compared to when you're flying. Air is moving through the blades, so it's not able to grab as much air. So that's the theory behind that. So the next one is another old prop, uh, the 3030x4, but it, this one's good. It loads the motor pretty well, so it's a good prop to test the motor. So we don't see that much difference between 3030x3 and 3030x4, except of course for the higher amp draw of the 3030x4, uh, due to the extra blade of course. So also went ahead and tested uh, this new prop from Rotor X, the 3044T. This is one of those new style props and these are mainly designed for fast forward flight so they actually don't show very good performance on static thrust test that's what i'm finding out all these new props from gemfan rotor x a couple of those uh, racecraft props all of those will show not that good performance on on the thrust and so I, I usually don't test them because of that so i limit tests to the more uh, traditional props because you know it's kind of misleading so i don't want people to start thinking that those props aren't going to be any good because we all know they're actually quite good they're fast once uh, you get moving uh, that's where they perform best so the next one is the 3040 by 3 Lumineer again that's another good prop uh, to test motors so a good uh, baseline for comparison so 758 pretty good uh, that's roughly around 50 more grams than a 1407 of course amps are slightly higher and then the next one is the 4045 approaching 900 so that's a pretty good thrust out of these four inch prop but as you can see the amps are getting up there the, uh, that's due to the high kv so with these high kv motors and four inch props uh, we're gonna get these very high amps but as i said uh, for these very high kv motors when you when you're using them in the air flying those amps are gonna come down quite a lot and also remember that these are burst uh, max amps so when you're just kind of flying at 50 75 percent uh, throttle uh, the amps are going to be a lot lower way lower than that i mean it, they could be even less than half this number 
And then the next one, another popular prop uh, for these uh, micro motors uh, is the Dow uh, T4045 uh, V2, uh, 961, so not quite one kilogram, but uh, very close. Amps also a little bit higher, but uh, I think still uh, quite manageable. I think uh, this should be okay with uh, H54S uh, LiPo. It should be all right because, I mean, we're not going to be 100% throttle all the time, so it should be okay and it, you know and when you go 100 percent of course it's not going to be anywhere near this number here so overall quite an interesting uh, size uh, 1606 uh, we're used to seeing uh, the 1407 and 1507 recently a couple of 1408s but here we have a, a 1606 so a different size uh, so there you go that's the test results for this motor i uh, hope you find that useful and uh, until the next video thank you for watching